Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 52, uh, Round of 16 match between more uh, boards Veloso. And more rats. Yeah, Veloso <laughs> is uh, Yaka Stai and uh, Vlad Giar with Underworld. And in the booth is Daedalquist and Kor. Hello. Hello. Hello and good evening, little wrestlers. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> um, yeah, another Monster Orc team. Look at this. Yeah. Some pretty decent more teams that we've seen in this challenge. Yeah. Is uh, all gone pretty far. Um, it's all the all the claw pumping uh, streamers playing Blood Bowl Three, but uh, by any chance? <laughs> no, yeah, this, is, this is past right. They just so. went out. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I know. There, there was one um, knowledge team went out to uh, that was like one of the best claw pump teams that have ever been created. And, it went out to uh, to Underworld. Uh, yeah, just another claw pump team. <laughs> Counter bag. <laughs> mm. So yeah, this is a proper yak team as well, isn't it? What down, one reroll here, but yeah. an incredible loads of stand firm. So it's quite good because we've got like you know Ducky's team has just got like all bare bones guard, and then we had uh, Tastelesses that had a load of bludge and uh, guard mighty, but these have got loads of stand firm. Uh, it's quite little. <laughs> one reroll. Are we in last sixteen and we got one reroll versus two? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty yeah. wild, isn't it? <laughs> Everyone's talking about how rerolls are good in uh, in overtime format and in in playoffs. And then here comes these two boys. <laughs> mm. Do not care one bit. <laughs> I mean, Jack, Jack's just gotta be memeing at this point, right? <laughs> so he's been memeing his entire Blood Bowl two game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, the the uh, what was it? The undead team he had like. Two seasons ago, that had zero rerolls. Was like, that was. <laughs> I mean, he's got a point, though, right? They're very TV efficient. It's it's yeah, interesting. Yeah. But yeah, you you just give up so much impact of like the outcome of the game. <laughs> it's insane. Mm. It's not it's what like, I do. But who no, can it's, say it's, it's good or bad? Not just play fucking play fucking crabs like. <laughs> <laughs> like, like now I'm playing tabletop where on like Slan I got like five rerolls in on 1.15 teams. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering how there was no inducements. There's Glart, there's Glart for the Underworld. So yeah, there's about yeah. 250 in between. Um, I guess like Yak yeah, cut a reroll to stop like a wizard and skitter or something. There's, that's maybe what he was thinking. Do you know. really think he had two rerolls to be able with? Yeah, he did. Yeah, I'm sure he had two rerolls last round. <laughs> Which is even that is. Uh... <laughs> yeah, two. Even two is too little <laughs> yeah. for this team. But, but you know, as as many as Yak as I've ever seen Yak have. So <laughs> yeah. it's about uh, two rerolls too little. <laughs> <laughs> But you know the RTV efficient, like it, it does. Yeah, sure. Are. But and I mean he's he's managed to like with Mighty Blow guard, guard into my, Mighty Blow build a a very big team, right? Um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to this overtime with no rebuilds <laughs> by any teams. Yeah, like I think it's definitely worth having a bit of reliability when you've got this much TV on the team, right? Like. It's more understandable when you te like min max, right? You haven't got that much TV in your team, so you yeah. don't want extra, you know, TV. Like it's TV on your team is adding power, isn't it? So you, TV on the pitch is adding power, and then TV yeah. on the bench and in rerolls is adding reliability. And I think when you've got this much power, it's okay to have some, you know, invested in reliability. Yeah. Um, Consistency. Yeah. But at least uh, Yak is consistent. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's you know that's what he values, isn't it? He values the the power, and and there's no doubt it. This is more powerful for its TV, like in in terms of pure power. But then obviously, reliability does become a part of that. So. Oh, and it's fine, like for Charlie's, like for the um, for the set of uh, the ladder where. One bad game where you have a couple of double skulls is what it is. 
the problem with a cup game is one game where you have a couple of doubles called costing you the game, you're out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, exactly. It's it's great for ladder, right? For ladder, it's great because if you're down to so first of all, you you're facing weaker teams because you've got less TV, and then if you're facing the same TV, it's only a hundred k for a reroll instead of sixty, right? So like the inducement reroll is actually a really good inducement. So, um, yeah, I think particularly like you know teams like Bretonians and Nurgle, when they're seventy TV. For a reroll, it, it, it's actually great, really great value to induce a reroll. So there's a yeah. lot of value on ladder. Um, but yeah, in, in teams like this, like th he's he's built a monster team. You know, like this is a really fucking good team. So just pay an extra 120 TV. <laughs> and Which is uh, inconsistent for Yag back to building a good team. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So just just pay that little bit more TV and, and have it be consistent as well. So, so, so the, the ALD account is the sensible account. <laughs> yeah, I guess so, yeah. Um, uh, he's just Ducky, let the ball get hit here, hasn't he? Ducky said that he used to overrate Blard and underrate Skitter, and having a gutter runner as the weaker team can be incredible, as we saw in the Kill Bill versus Mali game. Mm. And I definitely agree. I, I think that I hate Blard. I think he's way overrated, and um, in, this, in, the, in this case, I can kind of see why Vlad uh, went with Glor, uh, because he has some guard, um, whereas there is so much tackle on the uh, on the orc team. Um, so like you're kind of scared of the health and survivability of, of Skitter, whereas like you think that you can counter punch some with Glor. I just don't think you can counter punch enough. And the 100k extra that you get in inducement um, might have been able to like come towards a wiz uh, wizard uh, or um, at least an apple to like. Have yeah, I'm one pretty of those sure he couldn't have got a wizard, right? I'm, I'm pretty sure that's why that's why Yak like cut the reroll so that he couldn't get scared yeah. of a, a wiz because scaring a wiz but, is pretty scary. <laughs> yeah. But I still, I still prefer Skitter and an Apple uh, yeah. over over the Glor. Um, yeah, and he could have sacked this. He could have sacked this Goblin, right? He could have sacked one yeah. of his Goblins and got and still got Skitter and a Wiz. So yeah, he probably yeah, should exactly. have done. Yeah. But yeah, like that. That's the one thing that um, Underworld lacks, right? Uh, the biggest change. In terms of 2020 underworld, is that they have a gutter now, and we see how that has shot them up the ranks, right? Turns out having the second best player in level on your team is pretty good. Hmm. Combined, uh, <coughs> and at the same time, also being allowed to feel more than 11. Oh, yes. yeah. For sure, yes. For sure. we're, we're, the, the old rules of swarming were insane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The, the new one is still useful for them, and yeah. I, and then of course also being quite cheap, so you can actually feel some of the ridiculous star players as well. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. But but definitely like the gutter is is just the old rule was that you didn't like the, uh, they revised the rules so that now you have to field as many rostered snotlings. Um, as you can get swarming onto the field. So, if you have two rostered and fielded snotlings, you can get two more as ma as max. Uh, if you don't field any snotlings, no one else can come onto the pitch to help them out. Um, so yeah, you have to field them instead of before where they were just coming, no matter what. Yeah, it was ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. So you, like you would have fourteen potentially, fourteen players, whereas now. You can't really have that, can you? It's still, no. It's still even uh, playing against um, snotlings with the, where they have their rookies, rookies. It's like 22 players. So even <laughs> if you kill seven, like seven, he's still fielding at more than 11. Yeah. It's bloody mental. Yeah. <laughs> I can't fucking wait to play Starlings. Like I just can't wait. Um, and the bombardier not never been in Tono. Besides, if you kill your ball carrier, having mighty blow on everything. Even if you catch the ball, it's four plus to knock the bomb. It's four plus to knock people down anyway. It's absolutely horrendous to play against. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I can wait three years. Yes, yeah. <laughs> true. <laughs> I do have the team for tabletop. Um, mm -hmm. I lack a troll, um, but they're not. I have the small. The Underworld haven't really done a lot this game, have they? I mean, but no. I don't think that's really like a slight on them because just, it, just the Orc team is just monstrous, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And that's like, that was my point with Lark, right? We can yeah. see how how he's not have had any impact at all. Mm. Um. Yeah, but it got to run him out at least being able to score one turn. Huh? Yeah. I mean, just because the models good, are yeah. in doesn't mean the finish rifle of Burio. I've, yeah. I think I think the criticism for having those teams in has been way, way out of proportion, to be honest. I mean, it's it's just one more thing. That's it, right? Um, like, if that had been the only thing that was wrong, uh, people wouldn't have, wouldn't I don't have cared. I think it's wrong. I literally don't think it's wrong. I mean, you... You can see why people are getting upset with it, right? No. No, you're fine. <laughs> make a point. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I just, I just think they're being dickheads. Or, like genuinely, I just think it, it's irrelevant to me. Like, I, I, it's genuinely irrelevant. Genuinely irrelevant. All right. For some people that want to play certain teams, it's frustrating. Um, that their their team is not in the game, but is in the game files. Um, and if like they if they are finished, then you could have like patched over rooms or something from the from the other parts of the game that aren't finished by releasing more teams, um, especially with the wow huge wow good dead, boy. Dead, dead. And no, no apple. The apples or oh, the apple failed. Or you already Especially used the with apple. the timeline for releasing. All like, did he not have an apple? No, no, he's used oh. it. So he used the apple earlier on something. I mean, of course they're holding back release teams. Well, they're, they're, of course they're holding, but not released. Of course they're holding back finished teams for Battle Pass. They, they never said they wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah I, I, I understand that. It's just like you have a schedule that will release all teams in three years' time. That's yeah. insanely long time. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Oh, you power up or turn two or three. Thank you very much. Big old blitzer. Yeah. That's a huge thing. Yeah, the team not quite as scary after losing that guy. But gets the eight turn stall in. And uh, the claw pommer is back for the underworld to try and get lucky. And yeah, like if you've already got a claw pommer, then Glart loses a lot of value as well because he's just like the strength blitz, isn't he? Like it's. You, you, you want to still turn. want to do everything you can to get the hit with this guy, if you possibly can. So, or this guy, like, he's, he's the third best, he's the fourth best player at hitting on the team. So, yeah, yeah he's, he's really not very good in this situation. But, I mean, you just have Juggernaut for the one turn if you had Skitter or um, Underworld in Blood Bowl 3. Um, you would have Juggernaut for that, wouldn't he? But uh, the Juggernaut is not very useful in this situation so yeah i think and, and and like also glad is like trying to beat the teams like the teams that he's good against it's like you know orcs and dwarves because they're armor nine and like claws good they're the teams that like trying to out muscle them is not really the way to beat them is it the way to beat them is with a gutter runner and a wizard so yeah he's in a he's a weird he's a weird player um glad in a weird spot for sure Blitzing, blitzing this guy is sad, isn't it? <laughs> like, a completely nondescript line or Like, how do you not blitz the stand for Black Orc? I think you have to, right? 
And I know he was more likely to knock him over. Or even hit this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like, GFI and hit this guy. I mean, I guess his team's so good it barely matters if you remove <laughs> one of the other good players. <laughs> but... I don't know. I mean, I think all of the teams are also unfinished, right? Just because you can see the models doesn't mean they're finished. So it's just yeah. more unfinished things that they could have released and been more unfinished that they never said they were going to release. I think it's. I think. Yeah, I mean, it's... I, I, don't, I don't argue that it's wrong. I don't, I'm, I'm, what they're doing is wrong. I'm just saying I understand why people are upset. Like, if they are, if they are finished, like that could have been released to like make people slightly less upset. I mean, I am think if they were released and they could charge $10 for each of them, they would have released them. <laughs> yeah. But they wouldn't have, they wouldn't, they're not going to give them away because they're finished, are they? <laughs> I mean, that's what they're intending to do down the line. Yeah, so, then, you know, if you think they're in the games, they should, we should have them, then you're mental. You're absolutely fucking mental if you think we should have them because they're in the game. But if you think we should be able to buy them for a tenner each, then if you think they're just not getting tenors each when they could get tenors each, I'm sure they would get tenors each if they could. Yeah, yeah, of course. But, um, enough about that. <laughs> of course, Dave <laughs> understands their anger. <laughs> <laughs> There's one thing Daedal can understand. Frustrated. It's rage. <laughs> I'm more frustrated about the the thing they released on their uh, Steam page where they just flat out said, no, the microtransactions are fair. <laughs> <laughs> we know better than you. I mean, that was, their, that was their reaction to pretty much everything in the PDF that uh, yeah. Inari and, and the VIP, the other VIPs made. That was pretty much the only... You know, pretty much they you know they sent a response thing, and pretty much everything was like, "No, you're wrong. We know better than you," yeah. which you know was untrue. <laughs> yep. And then people said, "That's a problem to that." Oh, thanks for communicating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Thanks for spitting in my face. I was getting kind of dry. <laughs> Yep. Thank you, sir. May I have another? <laughs> <laughs> this is looking pretty brutal now for Yak, isn't it? Down players here. Because I assume he only had 11 because it's Yak and he's a mad cunt. <laughs> mad person. <laughs> Nine. Yeah, you only had 11, yep. <laughs> so, all of a sudden he's in a bit of trouble here. Yeah, if the Underworld can keep a, the, the, a tree should take like two more players off and score an eight. <coughs> that would be quite interesting. Yeah. Going for the Troll Blitz, I guess, here, because he's got Claw Mighty. Um, I wouldn't have hated Blitzing this guy with Glart, because he's got the Jugs, hasn't he, to leave uh, him, but... Obviously, Claw Mighty is very tempting, isn't it? And uh, yeah, guess uh, is he run out of uh, things that can jump on things? Yeah, pretty much looks like it, doesn't it? Sad times. Yeah, beautiful mutations, imagine that, imagine that. Yeah. Mm. Yak leaving a bit of crap space. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's a weird thing to do, I think. Like, I'm loving that as Vlad GI here, I'm taking all of this. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, he's going to claw upon that stand firm, isn't he? And then don't activate the troll, I guess. Oh, 
Yeah, I, five out of ten from IGN is is damning. It shouldn't be because five out of ten should should be bad, but not the worst game ever. But for IGN, five out of ten is like the worst game ever. <laughs> It's I haven't the removal. read the, uh, the article yet. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, <laughs> you've fallen in my trap of easy, easy progression downfield. Yeah, interesting strategy. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure. I like this from you, but he does get the. Three dice things with mighty blow and tackle. Loads of tackle, hasn't he? Three tackles. He used to have four? No, only three. Wow, making no effort to pressure the stall. Uh, saving his one rebuild for what time? Yeah, he is, isn't he? Low palm. I'm surprised he blitzed him when he could have blitzed the blitzer, right? Because that, that blitzer's now getting a mighty blow hit on Glam. <laughs> Another oh. removal. It's interesting. Uh, Jack is uh, playing uh, orcs like uh, like Skaven at the moment, <laughs> yeah. trying to hunt down uh, the weaklings and run away. Yeah, very weird. Uh, completely opposite, like uh, the orcs in the last game that was just oh. trying to uh, dominate. Yeah, he, he caught that. He'd left a weak diagonal, hadn't he? Here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and like. He, he caught it, but uh, yeah, I could have just taken a 3 plus, just smashed the shit out of the carrier there. But with one reroll. Yeah. He's come. But, so he's playing the conservative with the one reroll, which is a leader, right? Uh, <laughs> no, I don't think so. Is that so, a leader? No. The, is that, what does that blitzer have in the last sure game? Sure hands. Is that a sure hands? Uh, and yeah, pro, pro on this one. Pro on the Oh, it's a pro. Screen. Oh, it's the pro skill. <laughs> of course he has a pro. Yeah, don't need rerolls if you got pro. But now um, somehow think... the, the, un, the like somehow the underworld have let have let him do something here, haven't they? Because they've they've moved everyone around everywhere except the, where the ball is. But he could run he's got time, he could run backwards if he really wanted to. He might have he even score to. and go for the win. You could even score and just try to go for the win in regular time. Yeah, you could have done, yeah. But I don't mind trying your numbers up now, so try to use your claw mighty blow to count. Yeah. Ooh. Um And I think like if the, if the Orc team has like three B rolls, you go for the ball sack in the other situation. But because you only have one reroll and over time, you, that's why Yak couldn't really do it. Yeah. I think if you have like three rerolls, you might freaking do it. <laughs> Crap, space closed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the strength four also has edge two. Oh, okay, yeah, that changed. There's oh, been a few shit. times where that's been relevant, funnily enough. Right. So, on a Orc team where you have so little that can move, one of your best players has 82. Yeah. Yeah, like... Speed! <laughs> yeah, like, honestly, being... Like, obviously, this is the third game that we've covered, and in the in the first two, there were loads of situations where I was like, well, this the Strength 4 can just dodge here, and then, like, someone in the chat's been like, the Strength 4 is actually, like, every time, and it's, like, it's amazing how relevant it's been, which, like, you know, isn't surprising, is it, I guess, because, as you say, yeah, it's, like, it's... It's move six and it's strength four. It's like a hell of a player, isn't it? Oh my god. Dub skulls. Nightmare. That wasn't a blitz. So, not moving the ball here. 
with a stand firm quite close to it is a bit rowdy, isn't it? Yeah, the two heads, the two head goblin that just keeps surviving is brilliant. <laughs> yeah. Come on, claw pump. Glorious pylon. Sorry, I just read the the IGN review. <laughs> she just slated the game, like put, pulled out the chainsaw, and just went ham, <laughs> and then it's still a five out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> Literally like the worst the, game of all time, and five hours. She barely had a single positive thing to write about it. And then it still gets a <laughs> There was one review on under positives it said you can still play Blood Bowl 2. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. That was basically her point as well, right? <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good. That was a good read. Oh dear. No, she she literally wrote, "This is bad. This this is less of an excuse for existence than an especially bad year of Madden or NBA 2K." <laughs> like, that's that's pretty fucking damning. <laughs> it is, yeah, yeah. It's, ooh, this is a mistake. Oh, I guess he's stand firm. Yeah, so he's not gonna he's not gonna run away. Okay, no. Disregard that was not a mistake. <laughs> I didn't realize it's based on the ball. Ball pump is back. Yeah. I think it's done. There was a case for not claw pumping there, right? With only two more turns left. Could just blitz with the other guy and uh, had a big, bigger cage, I guess. Yeah, but he's got a claw pump. <laughs> yeah, you got a claw pump, yeah. That's true. Claw pump has got a claw pump. This is shit, by the way. This is absolute shit, isn't it? Like, that's an uphill for 2D on the ball. That's, yeah. that's crap. So to have, like, dominated no this way. half so much. The two-head goblin is there to save the day. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's not going for it. Again, he's only got the one reroll, so I guess he doesn't want to do anything. It, it, you can play completely different against oh. it as well. Yeah. I don't know, I still wouldn't mind going for some risky things, like, you know, even though you're not going to reroll. Yeah, it's a bit weird. Yak is, Yak is normally not adverse to going for, for, for stuff. Now Vlad's only got one reroll. I was predicting a zero reroll versus zero reroll, but they've both been uh, trying their best <laughs> to not use yeah. them. I hope the two heads goblin wins the game somehow in the end. <laughs> <laughs> somehow <Whoa>. still alive. <laughs> At least it needs to get the MVP for sure. Yeah. This is really some shit cages. <laughs> Predicting predict ball is super easy. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. Come on, Yak. Do, just do it. <laughs> Defending the ball is super easy. This isn't even a parabell cage. It's <laughs> <laughs> just out. He's just relying on Yak not ha not having the reroll to you know not spending the reroll, isn't he? Yeah. Which he continues to not do. And that's the thing. I like the freedom of rerolls. You know, like. Yeah. Some people like st you know start well, pr pretty much everyone start delves with like you know blitzer and three uh, witch elf and three blitzers and two rerolls, and then some people get the fourth blitzer or the second witch elf first, and I always get the third reroll first because it's just the freedom, right? It just it just opens yeah. up plays you can go for that you just <coughs> wouldn't consider with two rerolls. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think I think I've played Zero Reroll Wood Elves more than anyone, but I, I the last couple of times I played Wood Elves, I've, even I have swapped to to like a one reroll build. <laughs> like sensible build. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because the, so the, you and your... the Zero Reroll Wood Elf build is sensible. It's viable for sure. Um... Oh, 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 oh. I, it's just it's just a thing. You end up playing like Gotta you, eat that. You, ha you, have the, you have the chance oh. to buy roll your first team, uh, but uh, on average you end oh, up playing the same you amount of teams to get the, no. get the team going. Yeah, yeah. you can't make that block on turn sixteen. You yeah, cannot make that. Yeah, I didn't know what turn it was, Carl Angelati, but it was just a terrible block. Yeah, yeah. So like. So I thought, like, oh, he should have caged first, right? And, like, I just wouldn't have considered making that block on turn 16. Now, in my defence, in my defence, I wouldn't have thought he would be bad enough to make that block on turn 16. <laughs> At least he killed one orc more. Yeah, yeah, and that's okay, like, with Claw Pom, right? A Claw Pom yeah, block I... on turn 16. Yeah, I need to do that. He, that's his whole winning condition, is yeah. keep... Keep palming. So I was almost right. One of one of them is down to zero rerolls <laughs> for the worst reason. <laughs> but Yaku yeah. started on one, still has his one. Let's go. <laughs> but he's not played Blood Bowl for eight turns, probably because he doesn't have any rerolls. Yes. Yeah. 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 Now he's hardly got any players either. <laughs> Seven orcs. <laughs> this is how many? Uh, is the full still. eleven? Yeah, full eleven oh. still. Boy, howdy. Yeah, exactly, Ducky. Yeah, like, you couldn't ever start Dark Elves with three rerolls, because if you're starting with three rerolls, you might as well go High Elves, is the way I always thought. No, that's complete lies. Disregard. <laughs> I, I never saw the point of High Elves starts with two rerolls. Because if you're going to start with two rerolls, just do Dark Elves, right? So, yeah, yes. High Elves being able to start with three rerolls. <laughs> and High Elf awesome. has no freaking starting skill. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. And two Blood Blitzers is awful. Holy shit. Yeah. yeah, exactly, Fluffy Burrito. Well, double Skulls obviously got to weed it. Versus Claw Mighty. Wouldn't be versus Claw Mighty in Blood Bowl 3, interestingly. Yep. But, uh, that was a brave one to take. But again, <laughs> sit one reroll. Mm. I guess turn 16 will never reroll that. Oh no, of course nobody. But it's maybe it's, with four. Yeah, but like it's just a it's just a bad hit to take, isn't it? Like you know, obviously yeah. you've got to take it, but like Claw Mighty now, a lot safer in Blood Bowl three. <laughs> Not just well, because you like rides. passing uh, Fluffy, uh, that's a reason to play uh, Elven Union. Not saying that passing is good, but some people enjoy it, and they're not the worst at it. Yeah, and like you know, some people like the models and everything, but the competitive yeah. reason is three rerolls. Oh yeah, for it? sure. I mean, the competitive reason is play widows. <laughs> Yeah, but you can't start three rerolls with Wood Elves. So, like, the, the competitive reroll, the competitive, and also Wood Elves aren't in the game in Blood Bowl 3. So, the, the competitive <laughs> reason is three rerolls, yeah, for sure. What? He said Blood Bowl 2. We're talking about Blood Bowl 2. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't see Blood Bowl 2. Okay. But, but the I thing mean, is, in, Blood Bowl, in, in second season, if you want to do one turning, you should just play a rat. So, if you want to play Elf, Dark Elf just bet on. Yeah. So in, in in Blood Bowl 3, when we get to the stage, there is no really reason to play Wood Elves, besides if you like Wood Elves. Yeah, or Pro Elves, <laughs> or High Elves. <laughs> because the Dark Elf is just better, and if you like the fast agility game, you play Skaven. Mm -hmm. And you can get Movement 9 Dark Elves guaranteed as well, which is pretty okay, isn't it? If, yeah, probably on Cyanide. In re reality, you'll never play enough games to do that out in the real world. Yes, but the real that that that's the funny thing, right? The real world games will be dwarfed by Blood Bowl three games, won't they? So it's yeah. interesting. Well, they should, but they should. Yeah, it might it might die. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Oh, I 
gets the touch back. Huge touch back, yeah. Bigly, bigly. Blockless block. A block. All those guys with block, and he starts with a blockless block. <laughs> <laughs> It's because he didn't want to hit the two heads goblin with him, was he? He knew he, did. he, knew, he, knew he He's couldn't afraid of it. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. No! That one's dead. Diced. It was so beautiful when it's gone. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately for Vlad Giari, he put those two on the on the line. Strength four, maybe the strength four shouldn't have been there. But then, you know, what else do you put on there? Like a gob, maybe he's that that goblin, and then had a strength four more central. But now he's got hardly anything to stop him, has he? Just putting those there. You blitz the, you blitz, yeah, you run, you run the strengths back, and then you claw bomb the blitzer in front. Yeah. And then hope you can get enough. There's a goblin on the side you can get back worth as well, isn't there? Yeah. On the line. Yeah. I think I think it. Uh, yeah. And, and just because he has so few players left, Ooh. you should be able to at least get back to something. Oh, I hate putting Glart behind the ball. I definitely mm -hmm. want Glart back here. Yeah. I want a Glart like here. <laughs> oh, wow. No remove. <laughs> oh my! Yeah, oh, I think that's a mistake from Vlad there. Yeah, I want Glart back here. Like, Orcs are slow. He's got a strength four carrier. To put your strength four behind him, I think, is is real bad. Real bad. Sharp plate. Sharp plate. Like, fair enough, like, everyone else is tagged, so, like, you're making yeah, a dodge he's and he's only got a real lot of making blitz. He's just blocking, wow. Old strategy. Come on! <laughs> yeah! What a beast of a goblin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking it like it. All the, uh, the song on the Survivor on repeat. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> oh, we still got one goblin <laughs> to cheer for. Diced. But yeah, he's not getting anywhere. That's. Ooh. Huh? Huh? Do you want to oh, can two with him, can't he? He can two with the... He could have two with the other one. What? Oh my god, he could have two with the other one. Oh no. Oh. No, he could have two with, he could have two with the blitzer. That might... Yeah. Is that... I might lose him the game? Yeah, yeah, he could have yeah. two with the blitzer, couldn't he? he had two assists. So five yeah. and four, he could have two with the blitzer. Yeah, that's just... Yeah, that might just, well, straight up losing the game. Maybe he just missed quick. Oh, 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 oh. Reroll comes in! Well, hey! Oh. But. It, oh, it was a did blitz. Did he that's need why. a pow? It was a blitz. Wait, that's, I'm not sure that's. That's uh, a weird use of the reroll. He just wanted to get it like, done, right? If he gets the pow, he gets it done. That, that's yeah, but I understand that if pushes have been good enough, I think I've been yeah. rerolling it. But needing 5 plus. Yeah, that's. Like, who will use a reroll to. To have to pass five plus. One who hates rerolls. <laughs> We're <laughs> finally not to see a reroll. It's game. just if you compare to if you had to pa if you change that sentence with saying that he had to pass a five plus pass to do yeah. make this play work. Nobody's doing that. Even I mean, it's, a, it's a fifty-five. It's a fifty-five percent. To be fair. Isn't yeah, it? But it is. But but still, when the first result is fine. Yeah. But I don't know. I think it's okay. Like, like he's got very few players. He's got very yeah. few players, and it it gets it gets the job done if it works. I I didn't hate the reroll to be honest. I do. Mm, yeah, um, it's a bit weird, but that's the problem. Having one reroll, it's, 
I liked it better if you had more than one reroll. Yes. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, of course, if you've got three rerolls, you don't think about it. You instantly reroll it because it, if, you, if it works, you win the game pretty much, right? It's just weird, like, saving the reroll the entire game for that moment. Like, that's not... Oh, gets the power. He might still win the game. He might still win the game now. Yeah, gets the power. Huge, glorious chain off. And then another armor break. For... What a sick turn from Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, now it looks like the reroll is terrible, right? Now, now the reroll looks terrible because he had a really good turn the turn after. Um, <laughs> now, now the reroll looks fine because it didn't get punished. But look how bad this is. You know, this is the biggest thing. I think this is what lost Vlad the game. Yeah. Not every, not everything else. It was this. The, uh, <laughs> yeah. if, he, if he has Glart here, it's all right. All that yeah. and his stupid, stupid one D. <laughs> yes, yeah, that one D was horrendous. Yeah, yeah, maybe it's just a misclick, right? You know. Um, uh, but it's so why you blocking? Why, why, why are you not rolling? Why is Glart not trying to get back? Yeah, no, yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Just weird, man. He just isolated his, like, number one thing to deal with the ball. I like the blitz there from Yak, you know. Okay, it adds an extra chance to fail, but if it works, it gets him back as cover. I like that. Well, I don't like this 1D. <laughs> no, that's pretty fucking insane. Yeah, that's pretty rowdy. <laughs> Here we go, three plus. Oh wait, he's no, he's not going for it. Oh my god. Okay. What? He stand firm. He's gonna block his. It's the eighty-two, <laughs> isn't it? Wow. Oh, you go stupid. For this <laughs> That's the problem, mate. Oh yeah, he's edge is... two. Of course, he's edge two. Fuck me. Every time, I forget he's edge two. Oh. Alright, well that explains things. Yeah. No! <laughs> oh, that's the most fun way to end this. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, and then get rewarded by getting pushed into the end. Vlad's so. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck's sake, Yak. This is how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. What a game. What a game. Well, that's three out of four Monster Orc teams we've covered, and they all won. <laughs> yeah. So there but you no. go. Wait, didn't one Orc team go out? Did one Orc team go out? I thought all the Orc teams won. Maybe. Oh, you might be right. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, well, let's gloss over it. Let's gloss over it in oh, case no, I'm you're, wrong. You're right. You're, no, you're wrong. <laughs> let's gloss over it in case I'm wrong. Oh, no, um, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> this old team definitely won well, with his edge 2 strength 4 that I never forgot about once all game. <laughs> Perfect counter from Jim Flawless. <laughs> Congratulations, Veloso slash Yakastai. Commiserations, Vlad GR. Thank you very much, Daedalquist and Co. It's been glorious having you guys in the booth. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.